Hello, healthy people, and welcome. I'm Karen, and this is Enduring Wellness and Pilates, the place to find inspiration in all areas of wellness and to be empowered to create healthy habits. Welcome back to my Got Anxiety, Managing Anxiety series, part five, the coronavirus anxiety. I thought it was important to address the fear and anxiety that people are feeling now about the coronavirus. I know here in Michigan, our governor has declared a state of emergency and closed the schools and colleges. I also wanted to let you know that it is common and it is normal to have some anxiety because there is a sense of a loss of control. There is a sense of a fear of the unknown. But what we want to do is that we don't want that to get out of control. What happens is that when we become hypervigilant or we ruminate constantly about what might happen in the future because we feel this sense of a loss of control, it can actually suppress and hurt our immune system. So we need to learn what we can do, we need to learn the facts, and we need to go to the resources that we have available to us and help those to calm our nerves and do what we can do. So down below, I have put a link to the ADAA, which is the Anxiety and Depression Association of America. And they have a very comprehensive set of about 50 links um, on different subjects regarding the coronavirus and regarding how to deal with this fear and anxiety so that it does not cause your fight or flight system to be in a constant ongoing um, battle so that you don't feel like you're running from that bear all the time, okay? So that you can have some periods of rest and relaxation as well. I do believe it is important to know the facts and know what the true facts are, but not to overexpose yourself to the news. So I have also put a link down below to the CDC, which is the Center for Disease Control and Prevention. And right now in America, that's what we're seeing a lot of. We're seeing a lot of action that is taking place to help prevent the spread of this disease. I've also put a link down below to the World Health Organization where you can find out information regarding what is happening in your community and what suggestions they make to keep you safe. In my last video, I talked about how I am affirmations can help you to relieve anxiety, how they can help you to have a better sense of control. So what I'm gonna suggest is that you do now, I can affirmations. If you start to ruminate and start to get overwhelmed with anxiety and stress about the coronavirus, I want to encourage you to think about what you can do. For instance, I can wash my hands thoroughly often. I can disinfect the hard surfaces in my studio and in my environment. I can be well informed about what the facts are. I can find out how to quit touching my face so often. And with that, I have put a link down below to an article that gives you some tips of how not to touch your face so often. One of those things is mindfulness. Just realizing that, oh, I'm touching my face again. And so if you would go to that link, it'll give you some extra tips and how maybe not to touch your face so frequently. And again, I want to encourage you not to suppress your feelings of anxiety or stress, but we don't want them to be blown out of proportion. So there are some things that you can do that would be helpful to help get some of those feelings out, like 
getting them out on paper in a journal, writing down what it is that you are worried about, and then perhaps even writing a response of what some action plans would be to solve that problem. Another thing that you can do is talk to a supportive friend or a family member. Sometimes just talking things out helps. But I would encourage you not to overwhelm someone else. If you're really to the point where you feel like you're a little bit out of control with your feelings of anxiety, then I would encourage you to call a health professional, perhaps go see a therapist, or now a lot of therapists do online therapy sessions. They can give you a lot more tools and talk to your specific situation. So don't be afraid to do that. That's what people are there for. We are here to help one another through this time. And then lastly, another suggestion is to use this time to be creative. So if you're someone who does any type of crafts or arts, put that energy into that. If you're a musician, play some music, express some of those feelings through a creative outlet. I'm halfway through this Got Anxiety series, so I will continue to post more videos on how to manage anxiety, and you can go back. I've included links below to the other four videos that I've already posted to give you lots of helpful tips and suggestions. In addition, I've included some extra links down below from Harvard Health, from UC Berkeley, about how to deal with this coronavirus anxiety specifically. I hope that this helps. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend, and please subscribe and hit that notification button so you won't miss any more of my Gut Anxiety Managing Anxiety series. And then until next time, I'll see you then.